You want to go for a walk? Bye. You want to go for a walk? You been a good boy? <laughs> okay. Morning, guys. Look at these bags. That's because I've hardly slept. Why is that? Because I'm fucking nervous. Today is the biggest day in Parley's history since I've owned it. We're gonna try straighten this catamaran. When I bought this boat, I never could have imagined that we would have to go through something like this. Um, a lot of people are just pointing to the hurricane as the cause of this, which is fair enough. But I believe it's, um, there's quite a few factors involved and, and causes of this. So it's huge. I've never seen anything like this done before. I'm so grateful to have Thomas Gailey and Vincent Provost and those guys from Lagoon um, guiding us through this. Otherwise, I would be a total mess. I don't think, I don't know if I'd be able to, to do it, to be honest. I needed to have the experts helping me out and luckily, they're, they're uh, providing the assistance that I was wanting for so long. So we're in good hands, huge day, huge moment. And uh, hopefully by the end of today, Parley will be straight again. I've done a bit of a meditation this morning, manifested the boat sitting in the dry dock over there in our spot, all straight. So uh, hopefully the universe agrees with us. I've got to say though, it's it's incredible being down here in a place like Linton Bay to do this work where everyone's just so chilled. Jim, the marina manager, he's, uh, we've basically got him for the entire day. And he said, you know, whatever it takes, I'm gonna help you guys out. If we need to stop at any moment, just let me know. I like this area here, because then it got power easy. You're closer to the Wi-Fi. Awesome. Yeah. Do you mind if I um, spray paint a couple of things here? No, you do any goddamn thing you want. Okay, we're gonna Seriously. go, which is amazing. You know, none of this is costing extra. It's just part of the haul out that they've agreed to do for us. Everyone's just trying to help each other out. We're in a very, very remote part of part of the world. And um, it's just such a nice atmosphere here. So I'm really glad that we're here. So they finally managed to move the trimaran um, yesterday, so our spot and the dry dock here is now free. But man, felt so bad for the owner of this trimaran that the mooring broke and his boat ended up on the reef and it is smashed up. The whole bow's basically been smashed off it. There's holes all through it. He is wanting, he is gonna repair it. Um, it's his pride and joy. So he's got a bit of work to do. There's still water dripping out of it now. It's, uh, you know, the following morning. And yeah, hate to see stuff like that happen. The reality is it could happen to any one of us at any moment out there. Can you imagine if that happened to Parlay for us after all of the work that we've put in and about to put in, something like that happened. It'd be a hard one to deal with, all right. You have to do some serious meditation for that one. So, what's gonna have to happen? <laughs> <laughs> Today on Blow Deck. <laughs> Tune in next week for the season finale. Yeah, we're not getting the pylon, the top of the pylons level, we're getting the, the jack the jacks, stand yeah. level. Once all four of them are level, then we'll know that this part of the boat's level. We're gonna have to drop those jack stands down until she's all. Yeah. By the way guys, this is one of the most important measurements that I've asked Lagoon for. And they gave it to me last night. I don't know if you can see that. It says 5,370 millimeters. So 5.37 meters. That is the distance between the bottom centers of our keels. So right now I guarantee that that number is a lot more than that right now. So as the boat straightens, comes down 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 hopefully we hit this point here 
where it's 5,370 millimeters between center to center of our hulls. In other words, the keels. That is the most important dimension, I think, that we've received so far. Look at this shit, guys. This is what we're dealing with. Look at the gap down the bottom there. No gap at the top here. And we've got 30 millimeters here. That is how much this boat has dropped down here. Crazy. This window should be square. It's tucked up into the frame there. And there's a gap here. 10 millimeters. So we're just recording all of this and when it straightens, hopefully everything becomes square again. So this is our engine room bulkhead right here. And then we know our mast bulkhead is 21, 21 feet and 4 inches in front of this. So we'll know exactly where to put the straps. The way that the straps are set up, um, each strap is just by some miracle is going to land on a frame either side of the bulkhead. We don't want to put a strap where the bulkhead is exactly because we have to put those pillars there. So he's spread the straps out and each one is landing on a frame. So there's a nice strong point to lift from. So that worked out. Look how high she's sitting on the water line. The bows are out of the water. The anchor chain's out. And we've taken, we've dumped all the water out of the tanks. Now she's come up about eight inches from her original water line. So she's nice and light, which is good. Alrighty, here we go, guys. Jim's just about to bring the travel lift down put her in the slings and then we'll lift the boat up slightly and Jamie's gonna be in one hull I'll be in the other hull and we'll just make sure that we don't hear any more cracks we're gonna check our gaps make sure the gaps are getting smaller rather than bigger the way that the travel lift works it should pinch our hulls together which is helping us so hopefully that happens so Jim's about to lift us up now we got all the straps in place we got one just in front of there Front of the sail drive and the bulkhead's here so we're going to go listen to what's happening downstairs now and listen for any cracks jamie's down and huh it's what okay you you stay down there okay he's taking the weight now okay i can hear the boat's creaking a little bit. So we're just uh, getting lifted at the moment, but we're in here just checking that we don't hear anything crack. So this is what we're watching. This is pretty crack. My line's moving. Huh? What happened? Nothing. What? It moved a little bit, but that's what we want, hey? Okay, so the travel, the straps are bringing the boat into in the correct um, direction as we wanted. So we're just looking here. The gap is closed a little bit. So the motion of the straps brought the keels together, which is exa exactly what we want. Um, fuck, the boat's moving so much. She's so weak. This is so lucky that we didn't cross the Pacific like this. The boat's just so fucking flimsy right now. Okay, we're completely swinging in this in this in the travel lift now. It's moving us up and we're going back towards the dock. Stressful, <laughs> my heart's gone. We're probably how high off the water now? We're probably 20 foot off the water, so it's pretty scary. I can just hear the boat just creaking and groaning and moaning. No cracks, no cracking noises, just creaks. Just like the, the, the carpentry work moving. I can imagine if, imagine if something just cracked. This 
is still this is still bowed. So we haven't take, taken that much stress off everything yet. I guess the, the shrouds are still holding these hulls up. So once we back those shrouds off, hopefully this hull comes down, both hulls come down, and all of these stresses in the boat are relieved. A lot going through my mind right now. This is step one. Step one was to just take the weight of the boat in the slings. Step two is to sit it onto the pylons and have that all level. And then obviously step three, bring down the hulls. Woo! This is my life savings that's gone into this boat. I'm in it for about $200,000 now. And um, due to spend another 20 or 30 here. That's why I had to go do Below Deck TV show and then help my, uh, help my friend fix his hurricane damage boat. So it's been six months of just flat out working to come here and make this happen. So I can't fuck this up. I want to see that. So they're going to put us over the dry dock here. I'm going to use that pressure washer just to get all the coral reef off the bottom of the boat. Now we're going to come over here and we're going to mark out where the, the pillars need to go and um, get them all level with, with that tube that I showed you. Here we got the peanut gallery. <laughs> <laughs> just getting the laser level ready. How many, how many are... Guys, there can't be any air bubbles inside. No. What we're doing here guys is we're filling this tube and the water inside the tube is going to tell us when the pylons are level. So we're going to put one of the pylons and get it the right height and then the water is going to tell us where the other ones need to be because we want all four to be completely level before we um, put the boat on the stands. So right here is the centre and we already know where our pillars need to be so we've just marked out from the centre line our aft pillars and then up there are our forward pillars. So that's going to be the four points lifting up the whole bridge deck of the boat. So we're lifting my one there, one there. These are our after cords. Ready? Hang on, let's get these bigger rocks. Let's go end over in. Oh. So it's got to go right. I might as well take it the furthest one. Yeah. So. This one, the reference. <laughs> yours the reference. Yeah, because yours. Is okay, you have go. to put the soy sauce. Go. Is it there? Yeah. Yeah. Hang on, I've got to come up there. Okay. You good? No. There. Okay. Is it there? Yeah. So you got to come up an inch. Sweet. We're level. Okay. Okay, so what we're doing here is we're using this hose. We put a tiny bit of soy sauce inside the tube so that we can see the, see the water. And we're just leveling the pylons now. So um, we're using this one here as the reference. And we're gonna go to all four pillars. 
just make sure the tops of them are all exactly the same height so that when the boat sits on them, the bridge deck's going to be leveled. Now I'm leveled. Are you leveled? Level. Level. Perfect. Serious? Lovely. So the way we're doing it is the reference one, uh, Ilya has to hold his on his pylon still and then I move mine up and down. So as I'm moving the hose up, more hose is getting above the level and the water level comes up. So when he keeps his still, I move mine up and down to get the right height. You good? Bang on. Alright, you good? Okay, you stay there. Can you see that? There. Down? Good. Fucking perfect. Yeah. Una más. One. Sí. What, what, what? <laughs> So far so good, Colin. So far so good. good. Okay, we just measured the distance center to center of the keels. We have five, four, eight, zero millimeters. And what we need is five, three, seven, zero millimeters. So we are 110 millimeters out, which is 11 centimeters. So if you imagine the bottoms of the keels having to come in 11 centimeters, how much the hulls have to come down to achieve that. But this boat is so bent, 11 centimeters too wide at the keels. Crazy, man.